Starship Flight 10 will launch with Booster 16 and Ship 37 in the Block 2 configuration. The booster will use 33 methane-fueled Raptor engines for liftoff, while the ship has three seed-level Raptors and three vacuum Raptors for upper stage operations. The mission will test an in-space engine restart sequence to confirm reliable power-up in microgravity. This capability is essential for future operational insertions and also lunar return burns. Now, the ship will also attempt to deploy a set of non-functional Starlink test satellites, and the payload will use the PEZ dispenser, pushing satellites out in sequence to confirm the upgraded hardware's performance. Engineers expect to verify improved separation dynamics and evaluate thermal and vibration effects during deployment. After payload operations, though, Ship 37 will re-enter on a suborbital trajectory, targeting a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. During descent, the revised heat shield tiles and modified forward flaps will face high thermal loads to measure Block 2 re-entry durability. SpaceX will collect detailed data from onboard sensors to compare with ground-based re-entry simulations. Now, Booster 16 will separate early in this flight and attempt a controlled descent toward the Gulf of Mexico. This test will refine Super Heavy's landing burn profile while gathering telemetry on engine relight timing at sea level. Both stages will send back full flight performance logs to support Block 3 development going forward. Now, This mission's full flight path, payload deployment, and recovery attempts provide the data that SpaceX needs to evaluate Block 2 reliability and prepare for more complex orbital mission in future flights with Block 3.